Hey teachers, assuming you read the title of this video, you're either a tired teacher or a bored one, or perhaps both, it's okay. Today I gathered some activities to pump up the fun in your teaching, so you get your bored self and your bored students engaged and keep everyone active. Let's go. First activity, same letter. You're probably familiar with the popular six word stories where you tell a story apparently using six words only. It was initially inspired by Ernest Hemingway's famous challenge and the first ever six word story was for sale, baby shoes, never worn. Sad yet genius, right? If that sounds like a fun activity, definitely go with it. Let students write their own six word stories. But if you want to challenge them even more, divide them into groups and ask every group to compose a sentence that all its words begin with the same letter. Let's say letter B. To give you an example, Bored Bella bought big beautiful bagels. <laughs> See, come on. These are fun to make and wait till you hear your students' amazing sentences. Give them some time to write their own sentences, let them read them out loud, and then if time allows, move on to a new different letter. Can you think of a six-word sentence that all of its words begin with C? If you're teaching beginners, simplify it a bit. So instead of six words, make them four or even three. I found this activity really useful, especially when I teach simple sentence structure. I write the structure on the board, I pick a letter, and off they go. Second activity, a day out. Put students in groups and ask them to plan a one-day trip in your city that must put all five senses in use, which are sight, smell, taste, hearing, and touch. So they have to think of activities and places that invoke these senses. Students can use posters to showcase their trip, but if posters aren't available, you can use A4 printer papers. Just fold them into thirds and make them create brochures. Give them enough time to plan their trips and at the end every travel agent presents their package to the rest of the class. I once asked a group of mine to do the following. I drew a random character on the board and asked the students to recommend three different places for this hungry person to eat at for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in our town. Every group must convince this hungry person with their choices, so they must include the names of these places the names of the dishes and drinks for every meal, and of course, why their menu is the best. Again, visuals are always helpful, so I ask them to design one menu, but for all three places and meals. I personally was convinced to try an ice cream shop near us that one group included in their menu, and I also discovered a lot of new cafes in our area. I honestly really like it when my students and I are avid foodies. I really enjoyed hearing them planning every meal and picking every dish carefully. And they kind of need to convince their teammates with their choices first before, you know, presenting their recommendations to the hungry person. Try it out. You might discover a couple of new restaurants in your town that you've never heard of. Final activity, who am I? I know this sounds like an icebreaker and more suitable for first day of class kind of activity, but most students on the first day of class, as you might have witnessed yourself, are a bit shy and do want to share a lot of things about themselves. However, later in the level, they tend to feel more comfortable and safe to share more information. And this is exactly when this activity is perfect to do. I write on the board these seven sentences featuring none other than the adverbs of frequency. And I ask students to complete them with seven true pieces of information about themselves. Or you can ask them to write these sentences on a piece of paper without signing their names. Then a student collects them all, hands them to you, or distributes them among the class. And everyone reads the sentences on their paper and try to guess who it is. It's a fun, easy way to help students talk about themselves and at the same time, let you get to know them more. 
that's pretty much it. If you still want more games or worksheets, give my TBT store a visit. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you for being here today.